So you want to have a new color palette in Canva, but where do you even begin to get ideas? Hey there, I am Kate Danielle, and in this video, I'm gonna show you four ways that you can come up with new color palettes in Canva and how to save them. But before we jump into the computer, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to get loads of Canva tips and creating and selling printable product tips. All right, hit that button and let's get to it. Okay, so we are here in Canva. I just have a blank document open. You can do this with any document size. Our first way to sort of brainstorm some color palettes in Canva is to click over to styles. So I'm here on the design tab and I can click over to styles. I, right up top is where I have all the branding information that I've put into Canva. But if you scroll down here, you can get some combinations and color palettes. So our first one is color palettes and fonts. But today we're just looking at color palettes. So I can click see all and you get these fun options. You also have some words up here. So maybe we want a very creative color palette. You can click on that and see your options. So I can click on one of these and it's gonna apply it to my design. So let's go add in, pull in a design real quick so we can see this in action. Gonna pop that page in. It's not gonna fill the page. Well, yeah, it did. And now I'm gonna come back up here to styles and click around on this color palette. And if I click it more than once, it's gonna kinda filter through how it applies the colors. So let's pick one. Let's do um, illustrative and let's do one that's completely different. Now, my little graphic here is not one that you can change the colors of, so it's not gonna change, but you can definitely get some good ideas here. So the only trick, tricky part here is you can see that it's not pulling in every single one of these colors. So I can click here until I get something I like, and of course, now when I click on all these elements, I could come up and get the color information. But if you wanted every single one of those colors, what I would do is just take a screenshot. So on my Mac, I hit Command Shift and the number four, and it gives me this little cursor, and I can take a screenshot. And now we're gonna move into our number two way to add, uh, to come up with a new color palette in Canva, and that is with an image. So essentially, we have made a little image from that color palette. So now if I go add some elements to my design, just gonna quickly create some rectangles. I can now come up to my color option here. Got one selected, come up to color and scroll down. And right here, it's gonna pull colors from this photo. So I can go through and select all of these. And if it didn't quite get every single color, so for example, it did not pull this tan color, I could just come up here to add new color and use this little dropper to pull that color. And you can do this with any image. It doesn't have to be an image of a color palette. So we could come to elements and search for a photo. So maybe we know that we want to use reds. So I'm just gonna type red in, click over to photo. Now these are not giving me a lot of color choices. So instead of typing the color in, let's type in fall for the season and then I can come choose red here or actually if I had a color code of red I could put it in or I can use um, the option here to just kind of drag around and get a shade I want. I'm gonna click apply and so what this is going to do is search for photos that have that color but because we've typed something in here we're going to get a little more variety in the photo. So 
this watermelon. We could get some reds and blues and greens. Let's type in flowers. Maybe something like that is going to pull in some colors. So now if we come back and look at our um, photo colors, you can see you got those options there. And you don't have to t filter by color. You could just type in flowers and just look for inspiration this way. So maybe something like that one. Let's add a new page. Oh, not edit photo. You definitely need to have some things on your design to be able to select the colors. So now I'm going to go change it and you can see I've got all these color options. It didn't pull a lot of the flower colors, so again, you could use the color dropper. So let's pull in one of those pinks. And you can click around because see if I click right here I'm gonna get a very light, darker, and then almost a red. So let's, I'm gonna hard click in the middle there and we get this nice fuchsia color. Now, if I wanna add any of these colors into my Canva color palettes right here, I'm gonna need to take note of their color numbers. So if I click on this, I can just copy this number right here and I can click on edit and Color palettes is a Canva Pro feature. I believe you, in the free version you can save up to three colors. But you can see I have multiple color palettes. So I could either add this to an existing or click add a palette. I'm just gonna add it down here, paste that in, click save, and save again. And there that is. And you would just repeat the process for all of the colors. Okay. The third way that you can brainstorm and come up with a new color palette in Canva is actually using this search feature. So you wanna have something selected in your design. I'm just a big fan of just making you a handful of shapes to do this. And maybe you know that you wanna use a peach color. So I can type that in, and if I scroll down here, I'm gonna get some color palette ideas. So if I find one that I like, maybe this one, I can go ahead and just start selecting these colors. You could even mix it up. And then if you don't like a shade of something, of course you can come back to your main color uh, panel here and click on it and adjust it a little bit. So pretty simple and you can search all kinds of colors here. So if I know that I want um, teal, again, I get some ideas. Okay, the last way, the number four way that you can brainstorm color palettes in Canva is to actually use their color tool that they have. If you go to canva.com slash colors, they've got lots of fun stuff that you can uh, dig into. You can click on the color palette generator and upload an image here instead of doing it in the design window and it will go ahead and pull all of the color codes for you. or you can just come and browse different color palette ideas. And you can do this by simply browsing what they have here. You can type in a color or even a, a theme or keyword. So maybe we want to search for Halloween color palettes, let's see. And yeah, you can see that all these color palettes have names. So I can click search all results and I'm gonna get what well, it gave me four. Let's see if we can do like, I'm gonna try peach again and see if we get some more. Yeah, definitely seeing more options than what we had when we just searched for peach right in Canva. So this is another way that you can come up with color palettes. So maybe you really like this one so you can click on it. And then these are all of your color codes that you will need to then go paste into Canva. You could also screenshot this and um, 
you know, upload it as a photo like I showed you, but it's easy just to copy, click copy, and then come add it in. So you can just paste it down right there and select it. But then of course, if this is gonna be a color palette you use over and over, you're gonna wanna edit and save it down here so that you have it every single time. And then another fun tool that I really love is you can click on color meaning. So if you have a favorite color that you know you're gonna wanna use in a color palette, but you need to come up with all the additional colors, you can type it in or you can scroll through here and pick one. So let's say maybe we want, we want this like lilac color. Well, we can click, we can read about uh, the, the meaning. Oh, it's got lot, lots of information that you probably might not need to know all of this. Um, sometimes it's cool to come up to read about the meaning of colors as far as maybe how it might make someone think. Uh, but what is fun is you can see all of the different color palettes. You can click see more. Uh, this is a mono right here. So this is just stepping um, down shades, making it lighter. This is sort of in the same section of the color wheel. And of course, complementary was what we're probably most familiar with because you can think of Christmas. Red and green are complementary colors. Sports teams are often complementary colors and they, they tend to go well together. And then the triad, which is kind of separated. Um, we're getting into a little bit of color theory here, but the triad is gonna give you most variety because it's, it's pulling in a third color. So they're kind of evenly separated out on the color wheel. Um, but probably the most fun way to do this is just to click on more color palettes. So you can see all these different color palettes that are using lilac. And this is a really, any one of these are really great ways to come up with new color palettes. So maybe you're trying to create new brand color palette or you're creating a new line of printables that you want to have in a variety of color palettes and you need to come up with a lot of them. So you, in one, any one of these four methods is gonna help you do that. And this is actually a really fun color palette. I'm not gonna go type all this in right now, um, but I might use this in the future. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot. And that way I can pull all the colors when I'm ready. Okay, so let me know in the comments below what you think your favorite method is gonna be. Uh, sometimes I really like just pulling colors out of photos or even graphics. You could use that, um, the dropper on graphics that you find in Canva because as I'm browsing the Canva library, I might see something that sparks my interest and I might build a color theme based off that. So let me know which one is your favorite and um, what color you're loving in this season. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more Canva and printable product tips.